Hello everyone and welcome to the Starseed Dragon channel. This is our new perspective of the day and we're using the Tarot of the Abyss, the Abyss today. And I got an oracle from the Wisdom of the Oracle and some messages from Moon Magic. So let's get started. Today we got the Seven of Pentacles the strength and six of wands. Now the seven of pentacles speaks of planting seeds, right? Um, when you plant seeds and nurture them and watch them grow, uh, this is a period uh, of, uh, you know, reflection, right? Sevens are about uh, standing your ground and standing firm to the, the convictions that you have um, made, the, uh, the victories that you have um, accomplished, and now you have to um, contemplate your decision on whether or not it was worth it, right? You stand your ground and hold true to yourself. And... Uh, this particular card questions, you know, you're seeing the seeds that you planted growing, but wondering if they're going to bear fruit. And if you stay steadfast and true to yourself, uh, they will bear fruit, right? Our next card is strength, and it speaks of um, having the strength of character strength from within to be able to overcome an obstacle or situation that may be difficult or challenging or may even feel like it's stronger than you right but as grandma always says the softer the touch the stronger the arm sometimes um, we surprise ourselves with our resilience yes and uh, Next to the Seven of Pentacles is, you know, it tells me that, you know, you have to stay strong to the convictions and the com commitments that you've made to yourself um, and stand true. Know that, you know, the decisions that you've made thus far have been the best decisions that you could make for yourself, right, in your lifetime. The Six of Wands speaks of being victorious in a situation, in an endeavor. As you know, fives uh, are challenges, right? And so sixes are um, being victorious over uh, those challenges, those uh, practices, competition, um, the struggles. The strife you've been victorious over that and you've created um, this uh, stability for yourself that will allow you to continue on and uh, help you to solidify the strength of your character yes what is it that you see in these cards what is it that uh, jumps out at you and really um, speaks to you. Let me know in the comment section below. Let's see what our oracle is. We have the wisdom of the oracle card. It's number five, orphaned. Let's read that. Let me see. Are we all in there? Okay, let me get that book. Okay. Orphaned, number five. Do we do do number five? Here we go. Um, essential meanings, a sense of loss, an identity crisis, recognizing that you don't fit in, the need to belong, uncertainty about your place. The Oracle's message, we are all meant to have connections with other people within our families, society, and the larger culture. No man is an island. And it's important to recognize when being a part of rather than separate from is essential to your well-being. 
The issue at hand is the need to find where you fit. Be true to your core truths and values. Perhaps you no longer identify with a group or community the way you did before and need to find a new situation. You might be feeling a deep sense of loss or confusion. Address the need for belonging and know that you will find your place with others of like-minded and spirit. Of like mind and spirit. It's okay to let go of pressure to fit in. Not everyone will understand you. It's time to move on. Relationship message. As you shift and evolve and commit to your own growth, you long for support but may be disappointed and hurt by others who are not providing what you feel you deserve. Perhaps you are drifting away from this relationship because you're in a different stage of personal growth. Perhaps you are in a new relationship and discovering that you don't share the same values and beliefs. So you feel left out, unable to get to that intimate place of safety and belonging. Take heart as spirit knows you and loves you and will steer you in the direction of those who accept you as you are without artifice or a agenda. Don't compromise yourself to be long. It won't be worth the price. Yep. Prosperity message. This card reminds you that you can't be all things to all people. You are not going to be popular with everyone and that has to be okay with you. Be clear about your mission, your brand, your work persona, and your contribution to the world, as these must be based on what you authentically have to offer, not something you think will sell or you perceive they may want. You will attract abundance by being completely yourself. Stay in your own lane. That's where you will shine and where you'll experience prosperity. Right? Be yourself. Don't force others to see you the way you want them to. Other people are going to see you the way they want to. It's fine. It's good. We're all good. What's our moon magic? Let's see. I am connected to the earth and all life around me. Moon goddess Artemis. I know my shadow side and I work to willingly transform aspects of it. Moon Goddess Hecate. I shine my light outwards for all to see. Moon Goddess Diana. Wow, we have three moon goddesses. Interesting. Four moon goddesses. I can guide and lead others wisely and with love. Moon Goddess Hina. I am ready for something bigger, better, and brighter. Waning Crescent 4. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Let me know what you think of these. Uh, what do you get out of these? How do they sing to you? Um, what are the messages you're receiving in these, uh, in these cards? Let me know in the comment section below so we can share with each other and learn with each other and help each other. Other than that, have a great day and I will see you in the next video.